Okay, so for any problem with the ideal gas law, the first thing I need to do is write down the formula. So PV is equal to NRT. I've already gone and done this. PV is equal to NRT. Next thing is I have to identify the given variables. So within the problem, I have to go and see which variables they gave me out of my P, V, N, T, and R, or R and T. So I'm going to go to this problem here, and I'm going to read it and identify my variables. So how many moles? Boom. I already know which variable I am solving for. I am solving for moles. So I drew a little question mark on my N because N represents the number of moles. Uh, of oxygen would be contained in a 4 liter in four liters, that is volume right here. So volume is my V, that is four liters of oxygen gas at three ATM. So that is my pressure. I wrote it here as three ATM and 92 degrees Celsius. So this is my temperature, but any time that you are talking about temperature with your ideal gas law, the temperature has to be in Kelvin. So I have to convert 92 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. And I do that by doing degrees Celsius plus 273 is equal to my Kelvin. I have 92 degrees Celsius plus 273. I'm going to take a calculator. 273 plus 92. And that is 365. So I have 365 Kelvin. And now you may be wondering, okay, well, what about R? R is a known number. It is a gas constant, and it is one of these three options. How you figure out which one it is, is you look at the units. Most of the time, this one's highlighted in your OneNote. Most of the time, it's going to be this one. This one is the most common, 0 0.08206. So let's look at the units. I got liters. I got, let me do a different color here. So I got liters, I got liters. I got atmospheres, ATM. I got atmospheres, ATM. I got moles, moles is what I'm trying to find. And I got Kelvin, and I got Kelvin. So all of these units match with this gas constant. So R is going to have a value of 0 0.08206. And now I have a number for all of my variables except n, which is what I'm trying to find. So now I have to just plug everything in. So p is equal to 3. 3 times v is equal to 4. 4 is equal to n is what I'm trying to find. r is 0 0.08206 times t, and t is 365. So now we can multiply these numbers out and then solve for n. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 is equal to n times 0 0.08206 times 365 is equal to about 29.95. And now I need to solve for n. So I'm going to divide both sides by 29.95 to get n by itself. So 12 divided by 29.95, and that's about 0.4. So 0 0.4 is equal to n. n again is the number of moles, so my final answer is 0 0.4 moles.